Speaking of all of this, that's a live shot of Poland, where the president has arrived after meeting with uh, European and G7 and NATO allies. Our Kayla Tausche is in Brussels with the latest on what we might expect today. Good morning again, Kayla. Good morning, Carl. President Biden is heading to Jeshov, Poland, where he is going to be meeting with troops. He's going to be meeting with refugees tomorrow. He's going to be giving a major address and also having a bilateral meeting with Poland's president. Uh, the city of Jeshov is about an hour from the Ukrainian border. It's a major conduit for a lot of the weaponry and equipment that is being delivered to Ukraine. It's a resupply uh, passageway for the forces there. On Air Force One, just a few moments, Moments ago, as you mentioned, Jake Sullivan, the national security advisor, said NATO allies are in fundamental agreement over how to respond should Russia use weapons of mass destruction. But he described it only as a severe price that Russia would pay without going any further. He did say that U.S. and allies continue negotiations to send anti-ship and anti-air equipment to Ukraine, but it's unclear how soon that equipment could be delivered. He did say that he didn't want to elaborate further on those discussions for fear of destroying some of the efficiency of getting uh, those tools to the Ukrainians. He also said that so far the U.S. still does not see any evidence that China has decided to pursue material support of Russia's effort. That's intelligence that supports the comments that we got from Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen earlier this morning, where she said she does not think it's appropriate to sanction China right now because of uh, any sort of alignment or perceived alignment that it has with Russia and its efforts in Ukraine. You guys have been talking about that energy deal. I want to share a few of the details uh, about that. 15 billion cubic meters is what Europe says it will be offsetting uh, with new supplies from the U.S. and from other partners. But a senior administration official uh, would not elaborate what portion of that is actually going to be coming from U.S. producers, although they did acknowledge that production would need to go up to satisfy some of those requirements, not just this year, but also the the commitment of 50 billion cubic meters by 2030. President Biden, when he announced that deal with the president of the European Commission, he said the goal is not just to reduce dependency on Russian natural gas, it's to end dependency on natural gas, period, an acknowledgement that a move like this that ramps up production is in direct conflict with the other climate initiatives of his administration. But certainly they're in Iraq, in between Iraq and a hard place right now. And Jake Sullivan saying that uh, a major discussion at the G7 yesterday was how to lower energy prices around the world, possibly another strategic uh, reserve release in a coordinated fashion, guys. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.